Welcome back to the channel. You might have an iPhone and want to connect your display to the TV, but you don't know how. Well, this video will be perfect for you because we'll cover how to connect your iPhone to TV. There are several easy methods that you may not even be aware of. And before we dive in, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel for more Apple and tech guide content. The first method to connect your iPhone to smart TV is by using third party apps, which work well if your TV does not support AirPlay. I recommend Ducast as it works on nearly any smart TV. If your TV doesn't support AirPlay, you can marry your iPhone with Ducast. It's reliable, smooth, and works with almost any TV brand. To start, download the app, tap Get Started, and grant permissions for network, Bluetooth, and activity access. Then select your TV and the app will do the rest. Using Ducast is simple, just open the app, choose your TV, and then you're gonna have a bunch of options like screen, photos, music, or videos. For example, tap screen to cast your iPhone screen to the TV instantly. Compared to other apps, Ducast is the smoothest and easiest to use. The mirrored content looks just as good as AirPlay with no delay. If you don't have AirPlay or even if you do, Ducast is an excellent alternative. Method two to connect iPhone to TV is by using a streaming app like YouTube or Netflix. This method is great for people who stream more than mirror their screen. For YouTube, open the app, sign in, and select the video that you want to stream. Tap the icon at the top. It kind of looks like Wi-Fi lines inside of a screen. And then you're gonna choose your TV or streaming device. You wanna ensure that your iPhone Phone and the device are on the same Wi-Fi network and you'll be streaming in second. The third method is AirPlay. AirPlay is the built-in solution for connecting iPhone to smart TV. No extra apps are needed and the process is very smooth. However, not all TVs support AirPlay. It works with certain models like the Samsung 8K series, LG OLED 8K series, Roku, TCL, and other kinds of TVs. To use AirPlay on a Samsung, for example, connect both devices to the same Wi-Fi network. On your TV, go to settings, then connection and enable AirPlay. On your iPhone, swipe down from the top right corner to open the control center. Tap the AirPlay icon, select your TV and enter the passcode if it asks for one. AirPlay allows you to share photos, videos, games, presentations and apps on the TV. I personally love using it to stream from my iPhone and other Apple devices like an iPad. The final method to connect iPhone to TV is using HDMI, an option that doesn't require Wi-Fi. It works with near Nearly any TV that has an HDMI port, making it perfect for bad Wi-Fi connection. The downside is that you need to keep your iPhone plugged in to the TV, so it's not wireless at all. Essentially, you need some kind of adapter, and when using the other methods, all can be done right from your iPhone. If you have an iPhone 15 or newer, use a USB-C to HDMI adapter and an HDMI cable. For older iPhones, you need to use a lightning to HDMI adapter. To set up, plug one end of the HDMI cable into your TV's HDMI port. Then connect the other end to your adapter. Next, attach the USB-C or lightning connector to your iPhone. Finally, use your TV remote to select the correct HDMI input and you're ready to go. With HDMI, your iPhone screen will appear on the TV instantly. It's perfect for watching videos, gamings, or presentations without needing a wireless connection. So if you were wondering how to connect your iPhone to TV wirelessly, this video covered it all. Ducast, which is great for all TV models, AirPlay, the native solution, streaming apps like YouTube or Netflix, and maybe HDMI, a reliable wired option. Personally though, I prefer the simplicity of AirPlay, but Ducast works well with more TVs and HDMI is perfect for a hassle-free connection. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe for more tech tips and tricks. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.